today we are going to discuss composition of glomerular filtrate as we have started discussing urine formation process and we have discussed the different steps like filtration secretion and reabsorption so we will discuss the filtration process in detail and the first thing to discuss about filtration is composition of glomerular filtrate glomerular filtration is the first step in urine formation and filtration occurs in the glomerulus and it starts in the glomerulus and the filtrate then enters the bowman's capsule so inside the kidney inside the kidney as we have discussed there are thousands of nephrons which are present in these pyramids these are the renal pyramids they are containing thousands of nephrons and they are uh, basically involved in the urine formation process urine is formed and it enters the these passages and through the ureter, ureter it goes into the urine the bladder now inside the nephron the filtration process begins at this level the afferent arteriole comes and it basically divides into capillaries known as the glomerulus and then the blood goes to the efferent arteriole and it then divides again into capillaries known as the peritubular capillaries once the glomerulus is formed there is high pressure inside the glomerulus due to which the filtrates come outside the capillaries and enters the bowman capsule now once the filtrate is, has come out of the uh, glomerulus and has entered the bowman's capsule the composition of that filtrate the composition of that filtrate will contain almost all the molecules and chemicals which are present in the plasma except for few substances and those substances include first of all the proteins so the capillaries the pores of the glomerulus will not allow the pores will not allow the proteins to move out into the uh, glomerular filtrate so the first thing is proteins the composition is of the glomerular filtrate is the same as the plasma except for these substances so proteins will not be present and second thing is the cells in the blood like red blood cells etc they will not be part of the glomerular filtrate and there are some substances which are basically bound to the proteins like bound calcium there are two types of calcium one is bound to protein one is free calcium so the calcium which is bound to protein it will also not be entering the bowman's capsule and it will not be part of the glomerular filtrate similarly some fatty acids are not part of the glomerular filtrate because some of the fatty acids are also bound to proteins so they will also not enter into the bowman's capsule so the composition of the glomerular filtrate is almost the same as the plasma except for the proteins cells calcium and fatty acids and a few other substances with substances but these are the main substances these are the main components which will not enter they will not enter into the bowman's capsule the other substances like glucose or sodium potassium water whatever enters the bowman capsule it will have to move through the tubules of the nephron some of the substances the waste material will go out of the body in the form of urine some substances will be reabsorbed if they are useful into the they will be reabsorbed into the peritubular capillaries and some substances if they are not properly filtered if the total amount is not filtered in the glomerulus they will be secreted into the tubule from the peritubular capillaries so the final composition of glomerular filtrate will have all the components of plasma except the proteins cells the calcium bound to the proteins and fatty acids bound to the proteins that's all about the composition of glomerular filtrate thanks a lot for watching the video